Today we're going to talk about how to pull specific text out of the body of an email via the email listener when you want to reduce the amount of text that gets dumped into a field. So the first thing we need to do is get into our admin tool, the orange pill, and open up our email and event monitoring manager. Now I've got this out of the box system right now and I'll show you in the demo monitoring how this is already being done. If you go to your monitors uh, and you go to the default change approved item, you will see in the actions uh, an update approval action and that is basically updating the approval record with the body and text of the email that comes back in. Uh, this is for receiving approval emails from non-licensed users. Now if we look at the set fields, uh, the comment, as you can see, is the body of the email. And you, you can get, that, get to that point uh, simply by right-clicking, and you'll see all of the various fields from the email that you can pull in directly. Now, they've pulled in the entire body, except uh, what they've done here is they've actually added a modifier. So if you right-click directly in the, uh, the grayed-out area there and click on Modifiers, you'll see that they've actually added a special modifier to the value. So instead of taking the entire body and placing it into the comments field, what they're doing here is they've added a text after modifier, which means they want to take all the text that occurs after something and then to the end of the entire body of the email. So in this case, uh, they've taken the text about your approval below, uh, and that is some default text that goes into the email that goes out, uh, or the email that gets responded with, uh, when when a, an email approval is allowed in a change. Um, and they're going to take all the text that follows that in the body and put it into the field. Now, I'll show you some of the modifiers we have available to us here. Uh, essentially, you can set up uh, contains, um, ellipse text. This actually uh, basically allows and cuts it down and puts an ellipses in to the end. Uh, so if we only want the first few characters or the first couple of words and then an ellipsis, uh, we can actually take the first word uh, of the entire body. Uh, an index of the text basically returns the position of a substring. So if I wanted to know where you know the word Sherwell existed, it would tell me where that is uh, within the text within the body text of the email. Uh, the last word of the text, um, basically the left xmost characters. So you can pick a number of characters uh, in the field or, or in the in the text. And, and produce those. And you can see this this goes on and on. And, and you can feel free to to play with these and see if they're if they're helpful to you. Uh, in this case, what we really wanted to do was get rid of the instructions because we don't need the instructions to go into the approval comment. Uh, in this case, what you would be seeing is just the actual comment that the approver put in. Now, this could be a problem if the approver was to go into that email and delete all of that text because uh, Sherwell would never actually find the preceding text to put to the end. So you have to be very careful when you're dealing with the email listeners because when somebody sends in an email, you can't really control what that email really looks like. Um, if, you, if you provide them kind of guidance in a form, you know, type after this, do not change this, then, you know, that sort of helps along the way. However, you do want to make sure that they're putting the text in that you're looking for or that they're leaving the text that you're looking for in this case so that this particular uh, modification will work. Now you can add multiple modifications as well. I could put the text to the end after this. I could add a new modifier, um, you know, turn the entire thing uppercase, um, you know, so on and so forth, and it'll do these in order. Um, so that is essentially how you would modify or customize the, um, uh, the text coming in the body of an email. You can do that really with, any, uh, with anything as well. It doesn't just have to be the body of an email. You could do this with uh, any text variable, uh, and it allows you to modify the, uh, the, the text that gets returned.